was about 15, I was going through a very profound Oscar Wilde period, and um, I was so obsessive that not only did I have to read everything he ever wrote, but I had to read anything that might be even subliminally mentioned in one of his books. And there was, I think, some sort of reference to a book that Lord Henry Wooden gave Dorian Gray. And the book in real life was um, a novel called Arabu, translated normally as Against the Grain. And it was meant to be the sort of apogee of, of decadence. And in it was a meal that everything was black and piles of caviar and strange things like uh, mule steaks and stews in licorice water and I hadn't really thought about this until I went to Venice and then when I saw there those fantastically moody dark uh, squid risottos so I thought you know what I'm gonna have my decadent moment I am gonna cook my black risotto <laughs> Don't worry, this won't hurt at all. The squid ink comes from sachets. I get them from the fishmonger. I'm just snip off and squirt this really thick, viscous ink into the stock. Doesn't look that black now, but it will. It will. My second sachet. Right. So the risotto proper, a black risotto is simply a risotto that's dyed black with squid ink, hence my squink risotto. Some olive oil, just regular olive oil, and I've got some chopped spring onions, and now some garlic. Normally I'm so happy to use garlic infused oil, but because of the pungency really of the squid ink it does it smells of the sea and it's like some deep experience long long ago i want the real heat and hit of fresh garlic and into this goes the rice i like carnaroli carnaroli i want 250 grams so the idea here is to turn the rice into the oil just so it's slicked with it slightly. It's not going to be glossy, there's too much rice and not enough oil. Normally with risotto you put white wine in at this stage but I want to revel in the deep dark tones of the squid ink so I'm going for red wine and again the deep flavours are much more suitable. So I just want a glass of red wine, get the bubble. ruby liquid there. Stir this in. I don't want this to bubble away but just to bubble down a bit. It's all happening now. I feel a bit like I'm spinning various discs here with all my pans but I think we're okay. First ladle full of black stock. There we go. And now it's just a question of stirring. Each ladleful of stock has got to be absorbed into the rice before another ladleful goes in. It takes about, I suppose, under 20 minutes. Just standing by the stove and stirring makes me calm, makes me happy. It really is like some primeval soup. I love this black risotto just as it is actually, but I have a little flourish that I like. What I like to do is just fry a little red chilli, just chopped. On top of that, I've got some chopped squid or sliced squid into rings in the traditional manner with some tentacles and this contrasting squid mixture tops flamboyantly but beautifully my squink risotto perfect almost ready to roll one thing a quick bit of parsley only a small amount and dish up you can use bowls if you like just love seeing it on this white plate now like this 
we have, of course, the perfect date dinner for goths. Just tumble in the tender white rings and the red chili confetti. And in honour of the Italian flag, some green parsley. I am so ready for this.